I'm like low key sick right now. My as you see, my voice is like. Bleh. Who needs orange juice when you have literal poison? <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I'm Mommy Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, the Freaker. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like throwing hands, but I look like an idiot. The very, very anticipated character from the Fruits Basket reboot is finally here. So I'm gonna go into talking about Akito and Akito's backstory. I will have a non-spoiler section and a spoiler section. You can just time skip to this time. When that time has come, I will let you know. And before I go into talking about Akito, from Fruits Basket, let me bring down the law here real quick. And just for respect and the courtesy of those who have not read the manga, who have only seen the 2001 anime, I repeat, <laughs> SHUSH! Please, no spoiler comments. I don't want to take that away from you guys from talking about it either, so if you do want to comment about Akito or Fruits Basket in general, that is a spoiler. If you could please, you know, do the little spoiler notification spaces so you have to press C more to see it. Just so people who don't want to be spoiled, so then people who are scrolling aren't just like, ah, fuck, guess, guess it's over for me now. I hate that feeling, I hate being spoiled. And if you just posted a comment for spoiling others, I will have no choice but to delete it. I've been having a lot of people reach out to me saying, can you do something about the comments? A lot of us are being spoiled. I don't want to be spoiled. I don't want to be an asshole, but don't be an asshole. Don't spoil people. You have been warned. And here is the non-spoiler section, so if you don't want to be spoiled, you're good right now. And for a refresh on the character Akito Soma, Akito Soma is the head of the Soma family, who is very frail, often gets very sick and runs fevers, and Hattori Soma, who is the personal doctor of the Somas, works very often to tend to Akito. And Akito's age is never really given, but it is insinuated that Akito is a few years younger than Ritsu, and it is said that Akito is at least 20 years old by Shigure. Akito is short-tempered, abusive, and has physically and emotionally scarred many members of the Soma family, including Hattori, Rin, Hiro, Kisa, Yuki, and Kyosoma. Despite being a part of the Soma family curse, Akito does not possess a spirit of the Chinese zodiac but rather fulfills the role of Jade Emperor, a figure from the stories about the origins of the Zodiac, and is described as the god of the Zodiac. Akito desires them to have lived within the Soma compound for the rest of their life as the never-ending banquet. Being the very manipulative, emotionally, physically abusive person Akito is, Akito only allows Toru to live with Shigure, in hopes that Toru will come to reject and kill Soma because of the curse, securing their feelings of never being belonged and accepted. When instead they learn that outsiders can accept them, and members of the Zodiac family slowly grow away from Akito, and Akito comes to hate Toru the most of all. If you have watched the 2001 anime, Akito and Toru come to an accommodation centered around Akito's fears of dying young, which is an effect of the curse. And if you do not want to be spoiled, I will give you 10 seconds to just click on this little time gap. I will have it in the comments below because I know that's easier. I will have a comment pinned to the time where you can just click and then just skip the spoiler. Because this part is what made so many fans upset with the 2001 anime. It is with this specific spoiler that ruined this anime for so many people. That made the creator and so many fans so unhappy. So if you do not want to be spoiled of this very critique moment, please skip to this time, or you can come back to this video whenever you feel like being spoiled. Hello, people who have read the manga, already been spoiled, or just want to know what the fuck happens, what's up? Spoiler section again if you don't want to be spoiled. Get the fuck out now. And now let's get into the juicy, juicy business. In the original 2001 Fruits Basket anime, Akito is biologically a boy. As I stated before, this was a very vital, very crucial part of the story that even the creator was like, what the fuck? That this did not make into the anime. Bajillions of fans were also hurt about this because so many people love this freaking character. And knowing that this whole part was completely disintegrated, it is a problem. Akito's mother, Ren, decided to raise Akito as a male because she was ashamed of giving birth to a girl who was god of the Zodiac and who was receiving more attention from her husband. But it wasn't revealed until chapter 97 that Akito is biologically a female. There were a couple of members of the Zodiac, however, who knew 
Akito's biological gender, who were the four oldest Zodiac members, Kureno, Shigure, Hattori, and Ayame. And in the original anime, the, it ends with Akito just being a boy, not really going into terms at all with this whole other section that is here. And in the manga, through Toru's efforts to break the curse, Akito comes to realize that holding on to the bond has hurt others and decides to let go. And after the curse is broken, Akito begins dressing and living as a woman. And in the final chapter, Shigure, whom she is in love with, moves in with her. I ship it so fucking hard. I will die for this ship. I will go down with this ship. <laughs> I'm already a mess. Oh my god. Welcome back, those who were excused from this part of the presentation. Thank you for joining us. I am so excited that Akito is finally here, and it is my honor to freaking tell y'all that Akito is voiced by another freaking A-list anime voice acting legend! Fucking give it up, Maya Sakamoto! And if you don't know who this freaking icon is, let me reintroduce yourself to her! Holy crap! This freaking icon, this legend! Akito Soma will be voiced by Maya Sakamoto, who is the voice of CL Phantom Hive from Black Butler, who, isn't it ironic though, that in Black Butler, CL's dad, Vincent Phantom Hive, his voice actor, is voicing Hattori? <laughs> That's wild! Haruhi Fujioka from Oran High School Host Club, Krona from Soul Leader, Aegis from Persona 3, Ariat and Lightning from Final Fantasy, La Mariposa from Dead or Alive, Kiyomi Takata from Death Note, Rip Van Winkle from Helsing, Mari Makinami from Evangelion, Rikako from Psychopaths, Eto from Tokyo Ghoul, Amelia from Trigun, Maki Harukawa from Danganronpa V3, and Ling from Tekken. There's a couple more. She, this is a freaking legend, alright? <gasps> Silence Bird! Alexander and Diana de Arc and a bunch of others from Fate Grand Order. White and Black Rock Shooter from the Black Rock Shooter game. So many. This woman is a legend. I freaking love it so much. Like, all the freaking voice actors are so freaking iconic. Can we talk about how Kyo is voiced by freaking Ash from Banana Fish? And how Hatsuharu is voiced by Shorter? Bitch, I can't! <laughs> I'm gonna cry! And now we are going to go to the site, fruba.gp, where we will see the official character design. See, I remember how there was the spot blank, and I was like, who do you think's gonna fill in that spot? Akito, bitch! Look it. So beautiful. We love a beautiful queen. I love that they kept the black outfit, because through the anime and the manga, this is the outfit Akito usually wears. I'm, I'm not like disappointed because I'm so happy. It's beautiful, but I kind of wish that we got to see like the beautiful kimono as you see on the introduction page of Fruba.gp, you kind of see it. Akita with Shigure. I want to see it. I can't freaking wait for this reboot. My mind is blown and I'm so excited. I'm really excited. I'm so happy that all of these, all of the voice actors are so iconic and, and freaking legends in the voice acting industry. So to me, it is so, it's, it's beautiful. Isn't, isn't this like a miracle in the anime world, isn't it? That an anime, a great manga, a great story that was not properly told in the anime gets a fucking reboot? That's supposed to be perfectly accurate to the manga? Bitch, hold me back! But I'm so excited. This is just a justice. Freaking damn, y'all. I'm so hyped. And that is it. <laughs> I need a freaking beer. Drink more monster, get my freaking heart rate more up. And I promise that Diabolic video will be up after these Fruits Basket reboots. I'm like, shit, I need to get on top of this shit now. Thank you guys so much for all of the love for my Fruits Basket videos. I love making them. As you see, I'm a fucking fangirl. I'm fucking wild and crazy. I love to express my love for the shit I love with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and before we go, we got a showstopper to announce. This week's showstopper is strawberry underscore chan 101. Thank you so much, boo, for all your love and support. I see you fucking on my Instagram and on my fucking YouTube community. Thank you so much, boo, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for all these free basket videos. I'm freaking excited. 
I, I'm trying to, I, I can't, I, there's, <laughs> I'm just so happy. Make sure to leave a comment of what characters you can't wait to see in the reboot. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to freaking hit that little notification bell so you get notifications every time I make a video. Follow my socials, I don't fucking know, I don't have a proper outro, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye!